Thank you. Susan? <laughs> Sorry about my barking dog. Um, I had a question specifically for Lauren about the lines that were crossed out that you left crossed out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so curious about that. Oh man. I don't know why I do what I do sometimes. <laughs> no, it's fun to play with negation, especially with yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it, they're actually, they're, they're lines that I was like, maybe those are too, too um, expository of lines. And so I can show the speaker sort of having a conversation with herself. I mean, a lot of my poetry is just dripping with doubt. You know, mm -hmm. it's very, <laughs> lots of doubt and dread and second guessing and lots of ors. It's either this or it's that, or it's this or it's that, because I can be a sort of indecisive person or I'll look at something from so many different angles. Um, and so that was sort of me showing the, an interior landscape um, of, of doubt. I'm going to read one line that has a cross through so everybody knows what we're talking about. And the line, and the, I'm sorry, and the world is a body of broken clocks devoured by its mate. She had written that and crossed it out, but left it in. So it's right. beautiful. <laughs> when you read it, I love it. I do love that idea. I love the idea of seeing the process a little bit more. Yeah. It felt right for this book. I think for we are feeling the process of just existing through this pandemic from bo in both the art and the poems. I think so. It makes sense. You know. Cool. Thank you. I think it was the August issue that I convinced Zara to show us the process of her very early sketches before they became paintings, and. That's a very hard thing for an artist or a poet to do, but she was willing to do it and shared it with the world. So we got to thank her for that. Well, we uh, th th this was another thing that Lauren and I collaborated on where, where we gave uh, this presentation at the Beatnik. I think a lot of you that are here right now were, were present for that, um, where we, we showed um, us doing a, an ekphrastic collaboration and I believe in the slideshow we we both showed examples of that. Like Lauren, didn't you have yeah. a draft of a poem I did. where it was like words scribbled out yeah. and stuff, and then arrows um, and things crossed out? Yes. And then and then for the the painting version, I think um, we showed like the very initial sketch, and then and isn't that rich? Why you why? You asked me then later, like, would I be willing to do this for the, the magazine? Yeah, it was, that, it was after that show because I thought, wow, she's willing to open up in front of people right. live. So maybe she'll open up in front of people, you know, <laughs> around the world. And you did. And I thought, well, if people are seeing my art for the first time and think I'm a really bad artist, well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, the good news is the cover was also done by Zara and it was beautiful and it's sitting right up here in my, uh, right where I'm sitting. Right. Maybe. Noreen, did you have a question? I, I did. I actually had a comment. I, you know, as you know, I do art and, and my own poetry too, but I really liked that you collaborated and I thought your art was just, just magnificent and the poems were just lovely. And they really went together. And I was thinking about this whole thing with COVID, how distanced we are. And I was thinking, wow, I, they really did something wonderful so that they were at least touching each other and touching each other's work in this time of uh, such distancing. And I thought, wow, I really need to do that with somebody. You know, That's so a great way of putting it. That's a, a wonderful way of putting it, Noreen, because I really felt feel like I got to spend time with Zara even though we weren't together, it, I still felt like I was bonding with her. And I've done collaborations with, um, with other poets as well. And I feel like I'm spending time with them, even though, in fact, one poet I've collaborated with, I've never met before. I've never physically been in the same room with her before. Mm -hmm. And we did a whole chat book together. So mm -hmm. it's a great mm -hmm. way to be with someone. I mm -hmm. Hey, I know that book. Yeah, so I set up the book so you can That's you beautiful. mention uh, Jonathan's joy with this one. Oh, sure. Okay, so this is a novella in verse that came out in 2019 through What Books Press. Um, the 
author, I mean the author, the author is me, the artist <laughs> is Gronk, uh, Gronk uh, of, of Los Angeles. Um, and it is very, very loosely, very loosely based on real tragic events that happened out here. Uh, there are five uh, main speakers um, and there is a, a whole story to it, but in poem form. And Jonathan, my wonderful, amazing musician, percussionist, extraordinaire partner made a soundtrack to it with the voices of Marsha De La O and James Cushing, Kristen Bach, Maddie Mori, um, and a few others, uh, oh, and including Jonathan, reading some of the poems, but it's predominantly Jonathan's music. And it's, um, it's for sale at Soul Connection and Rainbow Stew and through spacecowboysbookshop.org page and through my website. And um, for the month of December, I'm sending the funds to uh, the Unity Home, Morongo Basin Unity Home, because uh, domestic violence is also at the center of this book. And just to be clear, the book is for sale. The album is free. You can stream it on Amazon, Spotify, Apple Music, a um, bunch of other places. And if you have a hard time finding it and are interested in listening to it, um, you can hit me up and I will point you in the right direction. But you can just Google. I'm going to include the, uh, the, the link to the YouTube version in cool. the letter today. That'll work. Thank you, Rich. And these books here are books we have in our Toria Needles Library. If you are hungry to read some more good stuff. This is some of Zara's art on covers of books. And then the final screen that I have to share is some of uh, Zara's books that include quite a bit of her art. I think there's 20 pictures in each one. Is that correct? Something like that, yeah. And and they include and little micro poems by by Rich. Each 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 um, painting has a micro poem that goes with it. And these books are gorgeous. They're so beautiful. I love them. 